These are my bribes. Oh, well. Yeah, I know, it sucks. I know, I'm sorry. You good? Can you not slam yourself down? Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Charlie. I am here with uh, my dog screaming over there for no reason. My daughter uh, hollering over there because I accidentally grazed it with my foot. And my son who's upset because he knocked my camera over earlier, which maybe we'll play that right now. And it is our 16 month birthday. And we are so excited to share with you the 16, worth, the, the 16 worst things about being my kids. Um, might be a combination of what they don't like or might be things I don't like about having them. It might be things that I want to tell future parents about. It might be reasons to change your current family plans. So number, number 16, uh, these kids can't do cool stuff yet. So uh, I would love to have my kids not yell. I would love to have them be actors in my movies. I would love to play Mario Kart with them. But they're really good at like six things, and some of those six things are lame. But we're gonna work our way up there. Uh, I'm gonna have you in my lap, baby. Oh, so that's number 16. Can't do cool stuff yet. Number 15, <laughs> I can't store them anywhere. So I can't put them in the uh, compartment under our stairs where we store Christmas ornaments. I can't put them in my closet. I can't put them in a kennel. Number 14, is that they don't like to wear uh, hats, glasses, or socks. Number 13 is they're not very good at allowing multitasking. So if you wanna do something like mow the lawn, do the dishes, um, take a nap, um, it's tough for them to allow that because that means 100% of your attention isn't on them. And they are really good at detecting that and telling you about that. Do you want this? Okay. Number 12, I might have just refuted that, but it's really tough to, to negotiate with them or bribe them. So he did come over here for half of an animal cracker, but they interpret that as he's gonna give me an animal cracker and then I'm gonna resume doing whatever I wanted. So if I wanna give them something to keep them from crying, they might accept the thing, but if they stop crying, that's entirely separate. There's no quid quo pro. Number 11, uh, we might have saw that at the start of the video. They're dangerous. They're dangerous to themselves. They're dangerous to precious, uh, precious items that you have in the house. Can you just run in laps, bud? Yep, you put... Hey, hey, be nice to her. Um, if there's something precarious, they want it, and they want it on their terms, which is usually on the ground. Number 10, and this is surprising, that uh, babies are not very portable. You think they're the perfect portable humans, but for every pound of baby, you typically are bringing two to four pounds of other things. Number nine is um, they don't like it when I pick their eyes, ears, nose, or butt. Number eight, it goes along with dangerous, but um, always looking for opportunities to hurt themselves, whether it be going down the stairs or shaking something that's holding them. I can't be comfortable. Okay. I'm kind of happy that worked out well and I'm kind of bummed that worked out well. Uh, number seven, um, this is more of an annoyance. Uh, it's questions from others when they see you have uh, one baby or especially two babies. Um, I don't mind them, but sometimes the way those questions are spoken, uh, that sets me off more than the actual question. So are they twins? That has to be asked at least three times when we're out. And yes, they are twins. Um, some of them are statements wearing questions. Her hair's so red. Like, yeah, it is, it is very red. She's beautiful. Um, other things, how you feed them, how did you conceive them, um, where's the other's parent, 
what do their other siblings think, thinking that they're not the first kids. Uh, how are you here? Um, how do you, what's your secret? How do you make it work? That sort of stuff. Uh, if I knew, I wouldn't look like the way I look. Number six is waking up. Uh, they're on their own timetable. Uh, sometimes it complies with what you want, sometimes it doesn't. Um, when I wake up, my first instinct is to try to go to sleep. And when I am awake, my first instinct is to ask, when can I go to sleep? Uh, they are the opposite. They want to yell about not being sleeping and refuse to uh, go back to sleep, which brings us to number five, which is not going to sleep. Number four fits in with the multitasking. Uh, it's crying when being left alone. I mean, uh, they have a pretty cool pen here with all the toys they like to play with, but if I were to step outside this pen or before when I was getting camera stuff around, um, they definitely wanted to tell me about it and wanted to make racket so that I, uh, I was aware that they shouldn't be left alone ever. Number three, uh, blowouts. And I will talk, I will uh, roll in a nose and a butt to that. Um, they don't poop a lot, like the dirty diaper thing is not a huge deal to me aside from being inconsistent, but they're, they're cracking the small of their back. It's almost like a little shoot for the poop to go up and it just ruins shirts. Like most of the time I catch it in time, but a lot of times it's like not even enough to fill a diaper, but it just went whoop. And that's a full costume change. Uh, number two goes along with that. It's puking. Um, not nearly as big of an issue now, but the first couple months of their life, they would return 20 to 60% of whatever they ate. And number one, and I think this will be the constantly top worst thing about having kids, worst part of their lives, is uh, the costs of childcare. Uh, most expensive thing I've ever done. Um, most expensive thing Blair's ever been involved with, and it's a lot. They do a lot for them, and it's a lifesaver, but it is, it is a part-time job, close to a full-time job worth of money. Uh, even with those 16 things, uh, the kids are totally worth it. They're worth, uh, this list could be the whole pad. It could have 100 things that I didn't like, and... Um, They'd definitely be worth it, and Blair feels the same way. Um, last month, we did the 15 favorite things about having kids and things in their life. Um, if you need an antidote to this, you can watch that. Uh, but we are so happy with them and how they're growing up and the people they're becoming. And we're thrilled that we get to share it with you. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next month.